Good morning and welcome. Today we are working on the Civic again. Um, so I got one video in process, but I kind of was stopped by my almost 25 year old suspension parts because we put some new coil overs on it. Um, I only got one side done because I made it halfway through this one and my upper control arm bolt wanted to not re-bolt and then my um, I don't know if you can see it my lower tie rod bolt right here there's no bolt on it because that one is mangled and that bolt will not be going back on so I ordered new upper control arms new lower control arms and a rear camber kit and then I need to find me some tires that I could stretch on the rear because it's stretched on streets in the front and it's on all-terrain tires on the rear I'm not sure what the guy was thinking when he did that because he told me he used it for construction which means the all-terrain should have been on the front because you're driving in dirt and it's front-wheel drive but I'm not gonna talk about that guy um, but my other my other one I've been waiting uh, I probably talked about it in the suspension video because I thought it was gonna take one day to do but we got this thing for the Civic, picked it up. It's a carbon fiber hood, it's been freshly clear coated. Um, guy wanted six for it, and I traded the those rims that I had for the charger, the scat pack rims, the guy that bought the car didn't take them with, he didn't buy them or anything, so um, I kept them, and I just kept them posted. And then this guy wanted five, 600 for it, and so, I offered him 450 and he wouldn't take it. And so I, I told him I could throw him 300 in the set of 20s. And he was like, cool, come get it. So, huh? You scratch your hood. Where? Oh, no, it's just a clear coat. Look, uh, it's right here, too. It's clear coat? Yeah, so there's a little mistake. So there's that one, and then there's that one. And then there's that one. And then there's that one. Um, but other than that, for. That <clears throat> and then the corners by the hood pins are shaved. But that's just so it clears my make and model for my car because I was on the same make and model car. But other than the carbon fiber hood, we got another project today. I'm going to make a little trip down to AutoZone right now. I'm going to get me a can of some black upholstery paint. And we are going to fix this disgustingness, the tan. I don't know about the carpet. I know I want to do the driver's seat. I want to start with the driver's seat. I'm going to clean them really, really well and then paint them black. And I'm going to use the Duplicolor uh, vinyl paint in black. And that should look good. But I'm going to go do that. I'm going to pick up that. And probably have some breakfast because it's early. So, deuces, I'll catch you then. So, we are back from AutoZone. We got a can of black vinyl and fabric. Duplicolor. Exactly what I wanted to get. Um, I just masked off the silvers because I want to keep them silver. And I scrubbed this down. So, we let that dry for probably an hour or so, something like that, let it dry, and then we'll lay the paint down and we'll see what it looks like. Um, if I like it, then I'll do the other headrest and the interior, but I don't know. Right now, I just wanted to get one can and test it, so let's see. So, after a quick lunch and about an hour and a half, we're going to do it. So, I'm going to lay down the first coat and I'll let you guys know so. how to just lay down the first coat. <clears throat> and it'll probably do three coats. Maybe. Gotta get the top right there. But so far they look good. Better than the tan. And then I'll let these sit for a little after they dry. And see if I like the fabric texture and stuff. If I do, then we'll do the rest of the seats in the car. Looks after second coat. Don't look too bad. I'm gonna see how the fabric feels after it's all dried and everything and see if I wanna do the whole interior or if I just want to do the headrests and wait for other seats. So we just laid down the last and final coat for these. We're just gonna let them dry. I don't want to go any darker than this because I don't want the fabric to get weird. Um, there's just a little black spot right there. Those from the can when I first opened it, the nozzle was twisted the wrong way. So it just kind of made like a line, but it is what it is. 
looks better than the tan interior. Um, I have like three quarters of a can, so I might try and do the back seats or something, but I'll have to get more to get the front seats and stuff, but uh, it's not too bad, especially for 14 bucks, so yeah. Carbon fiber hood and painting the interior. If I do the back seats, I'll probably insert another clip, and I'll see you guys in the next video when all of the front suspension and rear camber and rear lower control arms come in. Yeah. So I don't have a lot of that stuff left, but the center console in the car, the lid is pretty gross, so I think I'm gonna scrub it down and spray it, because I think black would definitely look better than this color right here. And then I'll get some more for the other interior. I'm gonna have to redo the headrests a little bit more because they're still kind of tan, but for now that works. So we got that cleaned up now. Looks way better. And that water was disgusting. So we're gonna let this dry up a little bit and then we're gonna lay some paint on it because I do not like this color. I don't know why tan interior was created. Uh, I think leather tan interior is kind of ugly too, but I don't know. Just my opinion, so catch you. Okay, so while we wait for that to dry, we can come over here and we look at the headrests inside the car because I put them in the car. Um, so here's the first one. Um, they're still, if you check back here, if you look like right here, it's still kind of tan, so we're gonna have to respray that and then. The driver's side, I think the driver's side one is a little bit darker. Uh, probably respray it too. Probably should have used the whole can on both of them. But um, I plan on doing the seats, so I'm just gonna kind of lightly coat everything. Um, I still have about half a can, so I'll be able to do this piece definitely no problem. And then those pieces should be getting redone when I do the interior. But I plan on doing the interior swap, so I don't really care how it looks, I just do not like that tan. So if I have to paint the whole interior until I can afford an interior swap, then that's what we're doing. But right now, I need to focus on getting the suspension parts installed, the um, interior painted, and the car registered. And then she's good to go. But for right now, that'll probably um, be all that I do to it besides um, aesthetic work to make it look good, maybe a new set of wheels. I plan on painting and or wrapping it uh, white and maybe like an SI wing, some SI interior. That's why I was like interior swaps to so do black interior swap on the plastics and then SI bucket seats with um, rear prelude seats. I was watching this video and I seen that prelude seats might fit in here. The ones with the tray in between so it's two seats in the back and then the tray in between i really like the way that looks so i think that's what we're gonna do for this but for right now that's uh all and then we wait for this piece to dry and we lay down some paint and then we put it back in the car and we're good to go right, so it's fully dried dried off washed off i masked this off because i like the way the plastic look it's still clean um, i took the latch off too and now we're gonna spray it do three coats and actually make it look black this time because the headrests are a little tan still so get into that alrighty so we got first and second coat laid down uh, I'll probably do a third coat and then call it good I think I like the way it looks better and then we will go ahead and redo the headrests in the Honda I'm not sure if I'll get to that in this video. I might. I'm not sure what I have time for right now. But there's just some tan that's still showing on the black that I'd like to get rid of. But other than that, I think I really like the way that uh, $20 spray paint can for your interior came out too. Um, it was like 15 bucks after tax and everything. Walmart has it for 10 but AutoZone was closer, so... Yeah, I'll lay down the third coat and I'll get back to you guys. And so, I just laid down the final coat on the passenger's headrest and I think it looks way better, finally. Um, there's no more tan showing anywhere on it. I did underneath, I did all of it. And then this is about dry. 
looking good. Um, and you see how the underside looks right here. Uh, I might rerun it over the rim of the underside, but we'll see. We're gonna let that dry, see if it needs any more. If it does, we'll give it a little bit more. If not, then we're gonna pull the driver's side out and finish this can off. But, get back to you guys. So, we just laid down the third and final coat, and I think that is gonna do it for the center console. The lid for the center console. And then I think I'm gonna try and do one of the headrests, because I have about a quarter of a can left. Probably do the driver's side one, see which one needs it more. So I'm gonna remask off the pegs, take it out of the car, and wait for this to dry, and we'll do installing this and painting the other ones. So just laid down the new first coat of re-dye over it, and I have about probably enough to finish this and touch anything up if it needs to be touched up. But so far, they look good. Where's that center console? Oh, it's over there. But so far, these look good. I'm gonna let them dry a little bit. I'll probably give them a little bit more, and then that'll be it. Put them in the car and move on. Covered in paint. True Religion hoodie. Ruined. But it was so those are finished up and painted um, I'm gonna give that some time to dry this is the final coat they're all done no more gray anywhere and let them dry and then put them in the Civic and I'll probably be painting the interior later on down the line these cans are just expensive here I think it looks great. Starters for now. I'm gonna be painting this one, that one, and the back seats. But for now, I think this looks good. That is gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, just make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be trying to make way more car content. Um, I wasn't really, um, interested in the charger so i wasn't really motivated to do anything to it i personally like lowered cars hondas Subaru, stuff like that i'm not a mopar person so i just had to get rid of it got rid of it got the son uh, the sonda got the honda and we're on to new bigger things um i am going to make a video when i get my upper and lower control arms my camber kit and then i'm gonna buy tires for the rears stretch those finish painting the interior uh, aftermarket uh, engine stuff we just it's gonna be a whole build so make sure to drop a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the whole build i'm covered in black paint i ruined my true religion hoodie um but it is what it is uh that's what we do for the cars um but i'm done talking Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.